Hi, well, I'm happy to welcome back Megan Shane, the executive director and founder of Connected Nest, which is something new that started in 2023. Yep. But let's go back because in 2019, you started Empowering Moms. Correct. So how's Empowering Moms going? Yes, it's flourishing. It's going wonderful. And we did start back in 2019 um, with workshops and support for new moms who are entering into um, parenthood and having all the questions around all the different topics. I actually started facilitating new moms groups in 2016. Oh, wow. So I've worked with a lot of women in, over the um, about eight years now, I guess. And I've really gotten to connect with them and watch them raise multiple children and yeah. go through lots of different developmental yeah. stages. And then those kids are going to be adults and then they're going to bring their kids. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, that'll be a right. I, I know how I that goes. I don't know about that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, you know, with all programming, things evolve. Right. Right. So empowering moms was to help support, you know, parenthood. And that's mm -hmm. a, such a big task, journey, rewarding and challenging. Mm -hmm. And then you branched off and developed the, the parenting piece. Yes. Can you tell us about that? Absolutely. So that came um, because of Connected Nest. What we were looking for is we were looking for the ability to expand the support. So Okay. New moms need lots of support because there's lots of transitions and there's so many questions and there's so many needs. There's also some pretty significant mental health hurdles that can be faced in those early months and years. And my background is in mental health. So that was a large focus of those conversations. But it's not isolated to just that first year. Right or even the first two years. So what we wanted to be able to do was to provide support ongoingly, as well as sort of look at the earlier stages of when support is needed during expecting stage of pregnancy right. for both partners, as well as um, one of my friends was really supporting those in the infertility group, and she's also a mental health therapist. And so she saw the need for that. And that's what Connected Nest was born out of because we realized that we wanted to help make connections and support for those who were on the journey to and through parenthood. So. Okay, excellent. So now the services or programs are provided for those who are facing infertility. Right. Then the empowering moms piece, and then the family piece. Yes. Right. So right. taking it taking it all all the way around. Exactly. All right. So infertility. You know, I haven't really heard about a lot of groups that support that. Yes. Is that something that you saw too? Absolutely. Um, Alicia, who is the program manager for our Facing Fertility program, realized that she was going to her appointments and going through all these challenges with a lot of questions and also just sitting in the waiting room and nobody's really connecting or talking about this, these needs and these questions that right. they had, but they all have questions. And um, it really became something that she felt passionate about helping people to vocalize their needs want to have the community conversation around that and be able to really find that support during a really stressful and overwhelming um, challenge that they were facing. Yeah. And, and there are not many groups. Right. And communication and social support is incredibly important, mm -hmm. right? Absolutely. So what do the programs that you offer, what do they look like on a weekly or monthly basis? Absolutely. Yeah. So our Facing, Infertili Facing Fertility program is um, once a month for primary infertility individuals, sometimes that's a couples group and other times it's for the women only. And then our um, secondary infertility group is once a month as well. Okay. And so that reaches people who've had a child but are still facing different challenges in conceiving again or maybe experienced a loss. And October is Pregnancy and Infant Loss Awareness Month. So it's been a lot of conversation around that because so many people have experienced loss and um, really appreciate normalizing some of those challenges, but also getting the empathy and the understanding around it. Right. So that's our Facing Infertility, Facing Fertility program. And then Empowering Moms, we um, have new moms who meet weekly in two different locations as of now, and then also online. And they come with their babies um, okay. under the first year, I always say, pre-walkers. So it's okay to have the crawlers. Um, some of them are just the little infant potato babies. Yep. And they bring their children 
children and they really just connect around what's been going on for them and what challenges they've been wondering about, what questions they didn't get to ask the pediatrician or that they just want to crowd source some information rather than going down the pit of Google, uh, yeah. which can shared be so experiences. overwhelming. Yes. Yeah, so shared experiences while sharing the experience of just taking care of their baby, feeding them, changing them, and just being in this safe space together with low pressure. Right. Where would be the best place for our audience to learn more about the programs and services to sign up and or donate? Yes, it would be online at www.connectedness.org. Okay. And now you do have a series that's coming up in 2025, an educational series, mm -hmm. once, a, once a month, offering uh, an opportunity to learn from an expert. Yeah. And uh, can you give us any more insight onto that? Yeah, it's all on our website, but it's about our Ask the Ask expert for infertility mini series and participants will be able to talk about the different questions that they have around the topics of infertility with holistic experts, relationship experts, as well as clinical experts. And where is the event being held? That will be on Ross in Ross Township as well as online. Okay, perfect. So if you want more information about that, would like to register or sponsor, definitely go to the Connected Nest website. And thank you, Megan, for everything you're doing. Thank They're you. They're reaching thousands of families. We didn't mention it, but I'm going to mention it now. And thank you. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of the Butler Buzz. If you want to see more, just click on the playlist button up here. To keep up to date with all of Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, click on the subscribe button down here. Hey, I suggest you do both. See you next time.